Hello, Brother Vendro here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the war with the Americans. Uh, the war with the British. Uh, I'm just letting the Imperial Guard slowly uh, take over the Britain. Um, but the Americans are proving annoying. Uh, we have reclaimed the Gold Coast. We also took Togoland off them. We're invading French... Excuse me. Invading French Guinea and... Liberia, but it seems like they don't like me invading Liberia and have sent a force of mostly cruisers to prevent us from doing that. We've taken Venezuela off them. Uh, they got a conquest mission against Peru, so I would like to clean that up. Um, but then once we've cleaned that up, I think we will peace out with the Americans because I really, what I want is the French. <laughs> so, yeah, peace out against the Americans uh, and piss off the French enough that we can we can restart the war against them when they don't have allies so that we can uh, try at least to um... take over the French mainland because we do not have the fleet power to do it. I should also start building some more ships, I think, because we need we need more ships, particularly for invasions. We also need convoy protection, but to be honest, I've, I've invested so much in that. It doesn't seem to be making a huge difference. I don't even know what what I'm doing wrong with that, but yeah, I think we need more invading power. I'm not quite sure what form that will take, because we do have some new hulls, but I haven't been keeping an eye on it, because uh, we have so many wars. Here it is, the Texas. Standard type battleship. Um, armor is exists 15 inch guns which is pretty spicy um yeah they're gonna have the advantage of range on me those 15s but they've got a lot of small ships as well so i am not keen to like close in too much we're just gonna have to weather it the storm, the Trevor and the Knight. Oh, that's a good little destroyer. Check you out, AI with a semi-decent destroyer design. Pretty good. But yeah, with all those armored cruisers and things, I'm just gonna have to. Just gonna have to play this cool, I think. Trevor takes a couple of 11 inch shells. Some light cruisers. Oberon started to engage the cruisers. Not nothing, they've got 10 inch guns. Taking a few hits though, the Boston. Light crews are getting taken out. Yeah, I'm just going to try and cycle my ships as best I can if they get damaged. It's taken a fair bit of damage. I think it's time we started deploying our torpedoes, though. Wait, 
Pueblo sinks. Wow, all those torpedoes missed. They seem determined to get into range. Have torpedoes themselves, of course. Maybe trying to close so that their guns can pen our armor, but it seems unwise what they're up to. Oh no. Okay, that was their plan. Why are you in with the cruisers? Detach and withdraw. Cruiser goes down. How much are these? 148 million a pot. Well, they're not nothing. Oh, to be it's on the Brooklyn. Sunk. Oh, Dark Spear. Oh. Dark Spear. Detach. Start withdrawing. And Villach, you should probably do the same. Still, number of American cruisers is declining somewhat rapidly. Kill that thing before it drops stops. Yes, good. Now, Texas has closed in. Um, she would have been better off staying at range, I would have thought. Torpedo at. And Alessandro, nice job. Flooding on her bows. Everyone's taking a bit of a hit. Oh, torpedo hit. Contempt her. Nicely done. Another one coming in.
number of shells. Hitting the Texas here is quite something. Oh no. Texas is still afloat though. There's more torpedoes coming in. To ruin her day. Boom! And that is flooding in the dry compartments. That's not good. Oh, that one would have been good if it actually had exploded. Two more duds. Oh, no. No, any hope of saving that ship has now evaporated. That is half a billion dollars of warship sunk. Very good. Okay, yes, my fleet has taken a lot of damage here. But they're doing their job. And given how old these ships are, they're doing a very fine job, I would say. The Huron. Getting smashed up. put down and we're just left with one cruiser way in the back the Columbus which probably not going to be able to destroy Oh, deary me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end the battle. Our ships are too slow to um, finish off the Columbus. And uh, I'll take it. That's a sizable victory. Oh, look at the Dark Spear go with that huge torpedo hit and a lot of damage from her 11-inch guns. Nicely done. Hey, do you know what's a good idea? Trying that again, America. Sure, yeah. Okay, uh, they might actually <laughs> do a little bit better this time. <laughs> if they're not going to be stupid about it. And, and they keep that battleship away because I have to attack it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know what they're on about. What are they doing? Stop sending them one at a time. You've got lots. Hit me properly. Right. Um, screw tactics. Go. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they know I'm here. They're going to feed me those cruisers. Wow, that's a lot of torpedoes. Goodness me. Don't like that. Also, don't like you being in the fleet at all. I would have thought you would go home for repairs, uh, but apparently not. Preemptively send you home for repairs. range on those things. 
11. Oh dear, we're already in range. I have an immense dislike of that ship. Yep, yeah, she's firing already. Torpedo avoid. She's probably gone for the Veribus. Oh my god, she had more. Woo! Oh, you've taken a nasty hit though. Pull back. Those cruisers need to die. That's for sure. Bainbridge, potentially a bit nastier than the Texas. Kill it, kill it, kill it, shit. Okay, well, Adjudicator slips by. I don't think, uh... oh no, Tyrol is lucky. What about you? You are on torpedo avoid, but you don't appear to be taking any evasive action. Duds. Oh, no. It's fine. We're fine. My cruisers are dead. No. I'm taking a. You're supposed to be retreating. I say you've taken a nasty hit. Let's retreat you, but you should already have been retreating. Ooh. Oh. Right. Torpedoes. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, well, that helps, although not as much as normally would. They've lost a turret, basically. Holy shit. Nope. The old torpedo headed their way. Oh, Dark Spear. Oh, I think we're going to lose you. Do an impressive job, but yeah, not that second round. That's very unfortunate. It's all right, we'll build another one. Slowly blowing off secondary guns. Yes, torpedo hit. Who managed that? 
Oberon. Good job. Well, that has caused a lot of damage. And you haven't fired your fucking torpedo. fire that one either. How about the aft torpedo? Fancy firing that one? as well, not firing the torp. There we go. Good. Bonk. Okay, tough fight, but we got there in the end. Another very expensive American battleship gone. At the cost of the Dark Spear, to be fair. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll build a replacement. Okay, um, we've taken over all of the American holdings apart from Upper Volta, which we're going to have to rely on the guard for. Uh, the Lucin and the Cora Newberg found a couple of Tallahassee class light cruisers and some transports. Um, I'm trying not to do endless convoy battles because I know that's not very interesting. Um, I'm <sighs> hmm. the war with the British. Well, just in general, I'm feeling like again our economy is needing the war to stop for a bit so we can get some ships under construction uh, it's tough it's tough playing as Austria you can't just uh, run away with it um, right are these the hideously torpedo packed ones yes they are we do outrange them, but only just. So I kind of want to get them to fire at the destroyers, if they're going to fire at anything. While we try and pick them off with the 8-inch guns. Just like that. There we go. Thank you, light cruisers. For... Falling for the for my trap. Also counter launch torpedoes at them in a wild and random fashion. Uh, 
Uh, the deck launchers have been used. I mean, they can just reload, of course, but... Oh, we hit a transport. <laughs> Hilarious. Right. Firestorms can uh, help clear out the transports, actually. Maybe cause a little bit of damage to those light cruisers. Again, get them to waste torpedoes. Or we could just shoot the torpedoes off and they surrender. That is one of the disadvantages of running a ton of torpedoes on your decks. You lose an awful lot of crew when uh, they get shot off. Yeah, look at those crew losses. Zooming up and they've surrendered. Huh. Well, okay, that was um, actually... Uh, the destroyers did most of that. <laughs> um, crazy. Okay, cool. What the flip? Um, so we've taken Peru, uh, which is the last American colony, although they appear to be attacking southern Colombia, so might have to go deal with that as well. Um, I thought I killed you. <laughs> Have we not already killed an Oklahoma-class ship called the Bainbridge? Maybe they have two of them. Um, but uh, she's not against a pile of pre-dreadnoughts this time, who are getting repaired um, after those fights, because obviously they're quite damaged. But, uh, yeah. I... I don't know what... Um what sorcery the Americans are cooking up, but somehow they've managed to get a second one. Um, bloody hell, we're starting close. That's like an ambush <laughs> range. Not a huge fan of that, actually, but okay. Managed to get our guns on target first, so... And obviously we've got more guns, but I would rather not take a bunch of unnecessary hits, so... Kill it. <laughs> Again. Yeah, but this is like point blank range. Attempt to, to hit on B turret. More shells. In a case, mate. Turning though. Oh, that was a good hit. Hey! Super heavy shells, strike again. 
is a turret quite explosively I'll reduce their fire about by a fair bit range of the secondaries that destroyer unfortunately it's like we've gotten distracted trying to kill the laboon which is annoying Main guns, Bainbridge, all ships. Confirm receipt of order. Thank you. Secondary guns for a reason. deck hits, even at this range. It's annoying. About 50% structure is the main bridge. Flooding hit, good. goes to show, even, uh, you know, not a crazy amount of armour. It's actually pretty effective. It's tanked a lot of hits. Oh, there we go. There was a, a main belt pin in there. No, partials. And that said it was a main belt pen, but I don't think it was. I think that was a superstructure hit. And uh good as the Bane Bridge is resisting kills. That is simply too many. Destroyer sunk before she can fire any torpedoes. And those transports are going to get obliterated.
There we go. Well, the second main bridge dealt with. Good. All right. Uh, listen and Styria have found the Macon uh, and a destroyer off the coast of Norfolk. Fair enough. That's Norfolk, USA, not the Norfolk broad Norfolk in England. Um, we are attacking southern England. Uh, I haven't checked in on it, but I'm. That'd be a pretty big pickup. We can manage that. Um, I'm kind of ready to peace out against the Americans. To be honest, because they. We've kind of taken all their colonies. Now we just want to... Just want to... Peace out so I can do some building. <laughs> uh, although, I, it occurs to me that... The Mars class battle cruisers must be finished. Um... Which is nice. Kill it. Oh, I'm going to assume it's going to get the torpedoes off. Yeah, just fired them. Explosive. Ow. Here, yeah, plug their bows. Nice to get a hit on their stern section. If we can. Overpens. Yes, flooding. Right in the center as well. Oh, that was a good hit. Right there. And another one. Engine room starting to flood. Sunk. Good. Yeah, I think I, uh, I'm going to push for peace with the Americans now. There we go. Peace with the US. That's good. Um, we'll take the upper Volta and uh, southern Alaska. Screw it. Sure. Uh, they have a few of those... Oklahoma's. Are they gonna? Okay. Nice. Okay. Good. And Britain's blockaded. And now we're gonna fight to the end with you. Because I want to invade Shetland. Um, hopefully, oh yeah, this is up to 52%. I think that might go through. If that does, and we take southern England, that's huge. I'll try and do a naval invasion on northeast. Then we just need the guard to take Scotland. Uh, and that'll pretty much end the British. I don't even think they have anything overseas anymore. Um, 
taking out the British will be pretty huge. I mean, their economy is absolutely in the toilet. Uh, since they have five provinces. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth? Hmm. Be some random speck in the Pacific <laughs> that we haven't spotted. <laughs> That's fine. Um, cool. Well, the Americans are probably going to be in a little bit of economic bother. Yep. Um, <laughs> right. What we really don't want them doing is allying with the French again. So, oh, they won't because they don't like the French. Perfect. Okay. So I think we take out the British, then we go after the French. Uh, but that will all be in... A future episode because I'm tired and I need to stop. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.